Well, shooters and reloaders out there, Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the hot lead zone. And we're going to go ahead and test everything's the same load. It's the mixed brass and 8.1 grains of Herco powder, Tula large pistol primers. And we're testing any advantage that might be shown between trimmed brass and untrimmed brass in the 45 Colt. We're using the Smith & Wesson Model 25 revolver, six and a half inch barrel for this test. The untrimmed brass, the brass measures between 1.280 and 1.285 inches. And the trim brass has all been trimmed to 1.275 exactly as done on the Lyman case trimmer. So everything's the same. The brass is evenly randomized in the unmixed brass. We're going to go to the range and test these now for accuracy and standard deviation. And uh, the results might be anywhere. Let's find out. So here we go with the trimmed brass. So we brought all the targets back and the groups are three five shot groups with each of the trimmed and the untrimmed brass. So here's target one shooting the trimmed brass. Again the load is 8.1 grains of Herco and that Lee 452252 semi wad cutter bullet. And here is the chronograph. So the information's here. There's the five shots. This is target number one. That's not group size, that's target number. And we got 876 feet per second. Standard deviation of 10.4. So that's good. Spread of 21 feet per second. And a group size of 1.661 inches shot from a rest as you see.
So here's the chron graph readings for group 2. That's 2 right here, not inches. And we got 861.6 feet per second. Standard deviation though blew up to 29.3. And that is a spread of 78. And the group size is 1.698 inches. Now we will average all the group sizes for the three groups and average the standard deviation of all three groups. Compare that with the trimmed and the untrimmed brass to see what kind of benefit we may have for trimming. So here's to expand the information, the gun, the load, and the caliber. And there are the readings five readings and then one funny reading that didn't compute in there and what we have is 870.2 feet per second this is group number three standard deviation still though is on the high side 27.9 spread of 68 but it shot a very impressive 0.742 inch group so that's accurate bullet accurate load and whether the trimmed brass helped that or not we we shall see now you see three groups using the untrimmed brass now as you recall the brass runs from 1.280 to 1.285 inches and here are the readings we got a funny error in there must some kind of shadow crossed or something but it doesn't compute in the results this is group number four 856.4 feet per second standard deviation of 24.8 so that's pretty high also 58 feet per second of the spread and here is the group that is shot 1.011 inches group number four so here's the same information and five readings group number five and we got 873.6 standard deviation 25.7 not very impressive 69 spread and here's the group group number five we got group size of 1.231 inches but again the standard deviation is over 25 so the standard deviation is not uh, a real winner here. So here's group six, the data. Group six, 867 feet per second, standard deviation of 11. Now that's, now we're talking. Spread of 29, and the group size was 0.989 inches. So now let's average the three groups of the untrimmed and the three groups of the trimmed and compare that so shooters and reloaders here's the averages of the trimmed brass 869 feet per second standard deviation 22.3 group size 1.367 inches for three groups at 12 and a half yards the trimmed now look at the untrimmed untrimmed the average of 865 feet per second now that compares to the average of the trim brass that was 869 so the trim brass gave four feet per second more average velocity than the untrimmed now the untrimmed gave 20.7 standard deviation compared to the trim that gave 22.3 so that's a 1.6 standard deviation better for the untrimmed compared to the trimmed. And the group size for the untrimmed, 1.074 inches compared to the trim that gave 1.367. So approximately a 0.3 inch smaller group with the untrimmed. Now I know this doesn't make any sense. These results defy logic. 
because the argument is when you have trimmed brass then you're going to have a consistent crimp and consistent crimps are important for ignition bullet retention and stability of ammo this kind of thing powder burn we already tested that mixed brass doesn't make any difference compared to match brass in handguns shooting at 25 yards inside of 35 yards this kind of thing doesn't make any difference the mixed brass shoots just as well if not better well what we just showed here is that untrimmed brass shoots a little better than trim brass so that the argument can be made that it at least shoots as well so therefore why trim and as for the trimming causing consistent crimping well if you have a tapered crimping groove the tapered crimping groove allows variations in thousandths of an inch of case length to not make a difference now maybe if we're shooting jacketed bullets that have a cantilever and if you have some differences in the case length you might get differences in the in the crimp there because there's no tapered crimping groove in jacketed bullets that'll be another test but for now the not trimming for the cast bullets makes a lot of sense in handguns straight wall cases there's no argument that trimming is essential for rifle accuracy trying to seek sub 1 MOA doing these kind of tests is fun to do we're not trying to change anybody's mind or anybody's belief or anybody's own testing that maybe have shown something different because again guns are different so that there's some variation there that we can't really uh, perhaps if I use a different gun it might, might have turned out a little different but as for huge differences I don't see us getting any huge differences than the results we have here you might have a little little bit of wiggle but what this shows is that you don't have enough benefit to warrant trimming unless you just want to trim if you want to trim your brass there's nobody that's going to say don't do that for whatever reason you want to trim your brass it's all good well there are the results and I would have been just as happy if it turned out the other way or or if trimmed showed a half half the uh, standard deviation half the group size it just didn't happen bye for now